we were just talking about uh, Canadian indebtedness prior to the break. I want to get Kevin O'Leary's take on what that might mean for individuals at home as well as Canada. Kevin O'Leary is joining us now. He's the chairman of O'Leary Financial Group. Good to see you, Kevin. Great to be here. Thank you. Let's talk about this. When Equifax puts out this report saying that Canadians owe $1.5 trillion, I mean, what do you make of that number? Is it a good number? Is it a bad number? What do you t it, take it really, away? As a percentage of GDP, it hasn't really changed that much for decades. That's the way I look at it. And it's primarily all mortgage debt. People, mm -hmm. their largest asset is their home. Now, you got to think about it this way. The, the one uh, twisted arm on it, which we should be concerned about, is this 17-year this crawl to the lowest interest rates in our generation. And there's a whole Gen X, you know, I'm looking at the people that work for me in my companies okay. in their mid-20s, all buying condos. And I, I, I beg them to rent them. But yeah. It's of no avail because they've learned generationally that they should only expect prices to go up. So they're now putting debt on at a very early age, generally around the $200,000 price point. Mm -hmm. And they're servicing it with the assumption that in five years that condo is going to be worth materially more than it is. I think that's a mistake because what will happen now, and I think why we should be concerned, is that rates will at some point move back up. Maybe not quickly, but servicing that debt on a floating rate mortgage or servicing credit card debt or any debt that's based on floating rate in the next five years is going to get more expensive and that's where we're going to test mm -hmm. this 1.5 trillion and it may get a little ugly around the fringes on the margin well it's interesting though because some people would say look if you're able to hold on to that condo that two hundred thousand dollar condo for you know almost 20 years you'll be okay but you're saying a lot of people are going to really struggle in doing that it sounds like well my problem with this new gen pro issue is all these condos are what i call shoebox condos 440 square feet two bedroom or studio and a half two tiny bathrooms, no parking, pure commodity, square box of cement. Mm -hmm. There is no value in it to me anyways as an investor other than it's like every other shoebox condo. So why would you make an assumption that to me it's a depreciating asset? The building in 10 years is an old shoebox condo. Right. And, and so I think it's worth less. So why does nobody understand that? Why do these condos keep getting sold? And I'm, I'm looking at the sign because, you know, I just moved back from the States a couple years ago and I'm looking at them and they're saying they're 90 percent sold. Why are they still sold? Who's buying them? Because the I, as I've doing? learned with my own staff and many, many of these companies at, at these, you know, Gen X or Millennium Kids, whatever you want to call them, is they don't want to own a car. So that makes a lot of sense. They want to walk to where they work. They want to be part of what's hip downtown in any mm -hmm. city, Vancouver, Calgary, Montreal. Montreal condo scene has never been more buoyant than it is. Prices are as high as 1000 bucks a square foot. I was just looking at some metrics yesterday. And so uh, I think the trend is, is your friend if you're a condo developer. I question the value long term mm -hmm. because to me, a condo is just a piece of cement that gets old and crusty. Right. You know, the bathtub's old and crusty and the sink is old and crusty. So why don't you just rent it and get a new uncrusty condo in five years? <laughs> when when rates rise is what you're saying. Well, when rates, rates are rising, the value of your crusty condo is definitely going to go down. So I, I, I don't like that scenario. Right. But, you know, I think the best education will be for these, these people to realize, ouch, that hurt. Once you get stung once, and let's say you lose 20% on a shoebox condo, yep. you won't be doing a shoebox condo again. You'll be renting it. Kevin, I want to 